Let's learn how to compile an FPGA VI. I have a simple project here. It has one FPGA VI. This control manipulates LED 0 directly and then inverts it to control LED 3. And then it shows the state of the onboard button as an indicator. At the moment, I have this set up to run in simulation mode, where it's using a random input for LED 0. Right-click on the FPGA target and choose FPGA target to then build the bit file and then run it on the FPGA itself. You can either use your own PC or, or Mac machine. You could connect to a network compile server or a cloud-based compile service. And then you have this option to choose which of these you'd like to do for each compilation. I'll go with the version that's running locally on my PC. And uh, what happened here is it's generating VHDL files from the LabVIEW block diagram. And then it's handed off the VHDL to the Xilinx compilation tools. The whole process takes at least several minutes and then various reports become available as you make progress. We're about two minutes in right now. It says that the estimated device, device utilization report is now available. Here we're a little farther along, getting close to the end. Finally, we're uh, finally in the finalizing the programming file. The file has been created and is now running on the FPGA. I'm pressing the onboard button to cause that indicator to light up. And if I toggle that button, we see LED 0 and LED 3 alternating um, on, and, on and off. You can check out the various reports. You can see the detailed log file as well. You can see how much of the device was utilized. You can learn about whether or not your timing was satisfied. And you can learn uh, additional information about exactly where the compilation time was budgeted. I'd like to point out that minor cosmetic changes do not require a compilation. So even though the file has changed, and if I uh, attempt to run it, it says I need to save that first. I'll go ahead and say, hit save, and it just works without doing a recompile. But if I make any kind of a structural change, like a change in wiring, then you will force a recompile. So you need to be aware of that. You can manually recompile recompile at any time. Simply select the build specification and choose rebuild. You can recall the compilation results. You can determine the available FPGA resources right here under general. And this can be useful if you're trying to gauge uh, what percentage of the device is still available for your own particular design.